Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we're going to talk about another Todd Sheets film, Bone Hill Road, which we finally got to watch. We luckily had our copy gifted to us by Wild Eye, but ended up watching it on Amazon Prime because one of us is too lazy to walk to the studio to get the DVD. But anyways, our film does start out with a really hard to watch, uh, home dispute going on between yeah. a woman and her husband and he's just horribly beating the crap out of her and her daughter's around. She ends up escaping, getting her daughter saying they're going to go to their grandfather's house. So as, as in any good movie, they, they don't make it. They hit something. They're not sure what it is. It punctures their tire and then they realize that there's werewolves everywhere and they're trying to escape. They end up going and finding a house. They hear music playing, let themselves in. And unfortunately, it's like, a, I don't know if he's a serial killer or what, but he has a bunch of girls trapped in the kitchen and is just really, really hell weird. Yeah. So not only are they dealing with abusive dude running away from him, they're now trying to hide from werewolves. And try not to get butchered by a serial killer. She's not having a good day. Not, it's not a good day. It's not a good day for Emily and Eden <laughs> and those poor girls. So we're going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did you like about the movie? Um, Actually, one of my favorite parts of this movie is kind of like weird. I like the fact that we forgot that there were were werewolves in I this movie. I totally forgot. Movie. The, the, stu the stuff that happens at the house becomes its own little sto story. That you forget that there's another layer to this. The house is surrounded by werewolves. Werewolves who apparently can't use doorknobs. They're... I don't know how werewolves work. We have to ask Queenie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was, yeah, that's what I like about it is that you got so involved in the story of what's going on inside the house because a, a lot of stuff happens inside the house. You forget this other layer like, oh yeah, there's still werewolves outside. And it was a whole like, you know... There's monsters outside, but there's a monster inside, kind of mm -hmm. like kind of uh, deal. And I like that they didn't go the obvious route with the guy inside. Yeah, I I loved your reaction once I remembered again that it was a werewolf movie because I was so invested in what was happening with the girls. And there's a part where the door flies open, and someone goes out, and then there's just werewolves. And I was like, oh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. Oh no, oh, yeah, werewolves. Oh no. So, oh yeah. That was great. Um. Any any other likes? Uh, I like the fact that the uh, that the grandfather looks like the guy from uh, looks like the guy from, looks like the guy from the Adam Sandler movie. Oh, from Big Daddy. From Big Daddy, <laughs> Emilio is a Colonel Sanders looking dude. Oh my god! Uh, but no, yeah, that's how you actually like. I actually thought it was it was a good. I thought it was well written. It was very it had a lot of layers to it. I actually really yeah. liked it. A lot of layers to it, like parfait. Like an onion. <laughs> Ogres have layers like onions. Oh um, all right. Uh, what did you like? I thought that the effects were done so well. It's an all practical effects movie. The the werewolves like legit looked great. And I was really excited. Same. They all didn't look the same. They all didn't look the same. That's, and not I to like spoil that. anything. But there is a certain person that changes into a werewolf and somehow still looks really hot. Like, really hot. <laughs> Good job. You know who you are, girl. Um, I thought that the, the tight shots of the, the werewolf makeup, too. Like, the, the creature design was really good. I really, really enjoyed that. And well we understand that this is not a big-budget movie, so... It's phenomenal for not being a big-budget big yeah, movie. Yeah, for devoting that much of the budget to the creature effects. Like, it really, really paid off, and I was really happy with it. And the gore was really good. It was that, just like um, how I was saying in the Clownado review, that it's those tight shots where you really want the camera to go away but it doesn't and it just mm -hmm. keeps happening and mm -hmm. you're like it'd be uncomfortable all right you just get you get a little like mm -mm. Mm. but it's also like incredibly cool and i enjoy that what did you dislike about the movie see i i have to judge this based on the fact that it's not a big budget movie yeah 
So most of my like minor complaints about it would be stuff that it's like they just didn't have the money for it. But I like I hated the daughter. I did I didn't like the actress. I thought she was bad. I just that that her acting really like soured me for like if the <laughs> Soured if you. the it it would have completely soured me to this entire movie if the rest of the movie wasn't so good, but it like you know I really enjoyed the movie but just like when she talked I was just like oh my god shut up it was just I just I did not like that I, I did not like that I don't know if that's like the way she is or she, that's the way she was just for this role I just didn't like I didn't like her acting I thought it was like I thought the rest of the acting was great I just didn't like her. Yeah. That's like my, that was just like, every time she would talk, I'd be like, oh. but. You liked uh, Dylan's acting. She oh, played I loved Anna. Her. Oh, she was great. I felt like it, it made me really sad to see her in pain because she's such a nice person and mm. she's a very good actress. And I was just like, oh, oh, honey. Yeah, she's, yeah, she was such a good performance. Very believable. Did you say very good performance. Stop it. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it like that, but I realized that's what We adore like. you. That was not intentional. That was not meant to be. But boobs. also, those are great too. So, we got we get to see those in this movie as well as Cloudnado. Yeah. Which I love the movie. Um, I'm not being a creep. I'm sorry. You can totally tell that the same people that made Cloudnado made this movie. Yeah. Well, it's um, I feel like the. The black humor in it is consistent, and mm -hmm. I really enjoy that because I need some humor in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of the stuff that, that the guy says, the creeper guy says. Oh, the so... serial killer, and you're just like, <laughs> it's so cringy. What? But it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. What did you dislike? Uh, the only part that I was kind of like the the pacing when they were trapped in the car. I just really wanted it to get to the action that I knew was coming because I was, you know, just really excited for it. So I was being a little impatient. You don't like them going to the trunk for water. Well, and then I was like, you're not supposed to keep water in your trunk because of cancer. But I mean, that's really literally the dumbest thing to pick apart this movie about. Mm. But one of my bonus likes, if you're new to the channel, I'm visually impaired. I sometimes have a hard time deciphering what's happening during dark shots and this movie did not have that problem. It had the actual, like, the well-lit dark scenes that I'm always talking about. Mm -hmm. And if a movie with this kind of budget can do it, any movie can do it. So everyone could enjoy it. And rather than, you know, inferring movement and everything from the sounds you're hearing, you can actually see what's going on. Like, I was really happy about now, that. Now, I have a question. Do you think the dark shots were so well-lit in this? Because they're trying to portray the fact that it's a full moon. And that's why it's so bright outside at night. I didn't even consider that. I don't even remember it being a full moon. But there are werewolves out. Well, I mean, werewolves don't have rules. They live their lives. And if they're like... We don't even know, you know... There's, there was no origin story on the werewolves. No, which I was totally fine with. I didn't even realize that till right now. Yeah. Because the rest of the movie, like, the story was so good. I didn't care how the world where rules got there. I just like the fact that they were there. Yep. Um. All right. So that was the rest of your dislikes. Nothing else. It was honestly, it was the pacing. Yeah. I I can see. I felt like yeah, they were in the car too long. Honestly, I could have done without the beginning of that movie being such a domestic violence thing. You could have figured out a different way. Like you could have done a different backstory than that. Like you could have done like, you know, like like he died in a car accident, and you were just kind of, and they were moving away from the memory of him or something. You could have picked something else other than, or they were going to see her dad for the weekend. There was, I, I, there was like a million other things you could have done other I, than. I thought that. of it maybe like, you know, you you picture a woman that's being battered, maybe not the strongest, and then you get to see her character develop into mm -hmm. her like final form and then see how yeah. powerful she is and how you know what length she's going to go to to save her daughter yeah i don't know i think that's maybe why he yeah. chose that it's just i don't know all right rating what would you rate this movie 
I would give this movie probably like a three out of five. I had a really good time watching it. I will watch it again. We have the DVD on the shelf there somewhere. Right next to Velocipaster. It's probably next to Velocipaster, which we are going to watch and review. What would you give it? I would give it a four out of five. I really liked it. I thought the story was great. The pacing was eh. You know, it, it had slow, slow points in it. I feel like they could have cut some more out of those, out of like the slower stuff at the beginning. They they could have cut some car stuff, got them to the house sooner, did more stuff within the house, and did a little bit more on the end. But overall, I actually really like this. And Brian, Brian Gatto said, when he watches the movie, he's like, you'll like this movie. So, mm-hmm. Mr. Gatto, you were correct. Yes, thank you, Brian. I did. I did really. I did really like this movie. And it's one of one of those movies that was such a pleasant surprise for me. I thought I wasn't gonna like it, and but I went to it with an open mind and everything like that. And I actually really enjoyed it. So, this is uh, made me definitely gonna give Wild Eye movies a chance, regardless of what people say about them, or regardless of what you know, what other people have you know said in reviews and stuff i will give any wild eye movie plus they give us a stack of free dvds so that's awesome i will continue to support their stuff no that's really nice but have you guys seen this movie we found it streaming on amazon prime video i'm sure that it is available for purchase elsewhere if you want to take a look and get your little hands on it uh leave us a comment down below with your thoughts what's your favorite werewolf movie What's your favorite werewolf transformation? Because there's a really good transformation scene in this movie that I was really impressed with. It it did look good. It was, yeah, I was really impressed. That that was really nice. Um, Leave us a comment down below. Like the video if you did enjoy the video, or you could like the video if you like kitty cats with three legs. Um, Don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter. Links down below. I'm very distracted by our beautiful cat. Hey, Meowdy. You wouldn't turn into a werewolf on me, would you? She might. A werecat. A werecat. A werecat movie. Do they have those? Do you hear me, Wild Eye? Make the werecat movie. Come on, Todd Sheets. We need a werecat movie. (laughs) Uh, I guess guess that's it. Until the next Wild Eye video, which should probably be sometime soon. We've got a stack of movies to watch. We're going to watch them all. Yep. All right. See you later, guys. Bye.